Hi guys, uh, this is going to be my last pad phone video. It took me about a month uh, since the last video to do this one. It's because I really wanted to get used to it. Because you know when you you just just get a device, you feel really it, it really feels good, feels cool, everything looks nice, but as you use it you know you start seeing a little problems here and there so I really wanted to spend some time with the device to actually pass judgment on it uh, I do think that some people review a little bit too quickly you know to just get the device play around it for like an hour and then to do a review I don't think it's the way to go I think that you have to use the device really use it know it and then do a review so this is what I'm doing a couple of news there's this uh, store called Negri Electronics. It's selling the pad phone for 860. Uh, you're only gonna get the phone and the tablet. I'm pretty sure you're not gonna get the stylus with it, but you're definitely not getting the keyboard. Um, if you add the keyboard, which is gonna be 150, and the, the stylus, I guess by and large 60 bucks it's gonna be the same price as as if you uh, pre-ordered it I mean ordered it from Taiwan so there's nothing new there the only, the only way you can get the pad phone cheaper is if you if one of the carriers actually import it and give it to you under contract but you're gonna be locked in for like two years or something Anyways, uh, there's a new device uh, that Asus is pulling out. It's actually a 27-inch, uh, com no, not computer, 27-inch uh, uh, screen, which you can use with your computer. But what's cool is that that screen has a dock. It has a pad phone dock on it that you can actually dock the phone and have a 27 inch Android device that is not touch screen though so you you won't be able to touch anything and do anything with it um, just a, a quick note is that the technology itself of the pad phone is not that groundbreaking because when I had uh, my N900 I could output it on a big big screen TV Okay, and I could hook up a um, um, a keyboard to it and a mouse, and I could hook up some some storage devices like a, a hard drive or USB key. So basically, what I what I can do with the pad phone now, I could do it with with my N900 or any Android phone that supports TV out and a keyboard and a mouse. So the pad phone itself. You know, the technology itself is not that groundbreaking. What is good with the pad phone is the fact that it has three devices in one. There's the phone, your and your 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 tablet, and your um, your netbook. The groundbreaking thing about the pad phone is the fact that it is well done. You know, it's well done. It's well well put together. You see what I mean? Because um, a phone on a bigger screen with a with a keyboard, well, that's 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 no big deal. It's been done. Not not really in the in the public's eye, but it's been done. And there was also this uh, Motorola lap dock thing. You know, it's kind of the same principle. So it's not that 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 great. But the pad phone itself, the way it's put together, the way everything fits well, that is groundbreaking. Um, <clears throat> couple of weak points about this and I think they're kind of important uh, you cannot see it right here because of reflections and whatever um, go check my uh, gaming capabilities and you're gonna see some white streaks here and here and I, I believe here and here you can only see these these uh, when there's a when there's a black when there's a complete black screen so let's say you're watching Netflix and uh, a, bla a black screen come, comes in and you're gonna see those those white lines those are called light leaks and it's basically light spilling into the screen because of uh, something in the bezel or whatever but see I made some research because of commenter and what happened is 
it's pretty common with the uh, with the Asus um, uh, Transformer Prime. Their Transformer Prime, a lot of people had that. So this, uh, you might get it, you might not. It depends on on your luck or something. So it's not every single. I'm sure it's not every single platform that's gonna have that, but mine had it, unfortunately. Uh, is it a big deal? Yes and no. Uh, I do notice it from time to time, but it's no big deal. You know, it's not gonna uh, hinder me from uh, playing on it or uh, doing some business on it. It's not. It's not that big. And the other big, big, big thing is that the audio actually sucks you know they made a big deal about um, the bad phone having sonic audio something something you know in their in their video and well it actually sucks you know I, I feel like it's like two steps uh, lesser than what I would like to be the loudest both on the phone and on the pad uh, on the tablet Okay, so with the audio, I'm, I'm not, I don't have a sonic ear to hear every little pitch and stuff like that. I'm a photographer, but um, it's not as loud as I would like it to be, unfortunately. Uh, the, the, the tablet, of course, is louder than the phone, but the phone, you know, sometimes I just want it just a little bit louder. But uh, they do give you some co cool uh, headphones with, with it. Some cool headphones with it. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not a fan of in-ear um, headphones. Those are actually my first because I, I never liked those. But yeah, they're kind of they're kind of cool. They're um, higher end. Let's say it like that. So, <clears throat> but when I let's say when I. Uh, when I play an audiobook on it from Audible or something, which I have here, I'm not hearing it as loud as I would like. You know, um, there's distracting sounds here and there, so I want it loud so I can hear. But you know, it's 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 just not loud enough. And I'm, I was surprised because you know they made a marketing thing that uh, here you got sonic audio, blah blah blah, thing thing and whatever. Um, well, no, it's actually unimpressive, and I, I'm I'm not I'm not picky about sound, but I noticed that it's a little bit. I need it to be just a little bit louder. The only last problem I have is actually with the magic pen. I don't know what you would call that. The problem with it is that um, there's no way to put this anywhere. Okay, so you can't put it. Here, here, there's no way. So, I, um, I, sometimes I forget it somewhere else. Sometimes I put it somewhere and forget about it. Because you don't want to be, uh, you, you don't want, <laughs> you don't want to have to remember two things in every time, to pen and this. So, uh, there's no place to put it. Uh, I would, I would have loved to put a Velcro behind it, but this is gonna be my some sort of my presentation device, so I can't put Velcro. It's gonna be, um, it's not gonna look nice at all. Anyways, now to the strengths. Uh, this, this, I love this device. I love it. I love it. It's great. It's fast. It's snappy. It's you would never think that it's a phone behind it, and. Um, it's just a perfect device for me. The camera is actually mighty impressive. Check this out. I did not see that, but see here, it's it's the full uh, image. But look at look at that. How cool is that? That's a dragonfly. So it's pretty impressive camera. I like the dynamic range, you know. Um, for whoever knows what I'm talking about, I like the tonal uh, gradation. You know, it has some good dynamic range on it. Um, sometimes it's hard to blow the highlights. You know, you blow the highlights when I, I blow the highlights when I point to the sun, and it's a duh. But it's great. I love the camera. <laughs> uh, I think it's eight or five megapixels. I don't know. Anyway, this is bar none the best device I've ever used. 
I've used a lot of devices. I had a lot of them and sold them all mainly because they, they did not fit what I really needed. I had a Nokia E90, that's my third best phone. Nokia N900, my second best phone, and now I have the pad phone. But I had a lot of devices from Xperia, blah, blah, blah. I had my emo devices, uh, Symbian N S60, S80, S90, Windows Mobile 4, 5, 6, 6.5, iOS, blah, blah, blah. This device is perfect. You know, it's perfect. Well, and it's kind of cheating because, you know, it's not really a phone. It's a phone and a tablet and a laptop. But this device is the best that I've ever used. And, I mean, I, I saw this as an investment. I know I'm going to use it for two, three years down the road. You know what I mean? And it's been a month I've used it. And, you know, the, the glitter is all gone. You know, it's okay. It's my bad phone. I, I work on it. I use it. And... I still like it, you know, and I know that I'm going to use it as a business tool for for years down the road. Um, one last thing, one last thing, and it's actually something I wanted to do ever since I, before I got the bad phone. Check it out. Ta-da. This is my... This is my strap. How did I get it? Well, let's see. my only problem with the pad phone when I um when when I got it, well, before I got it, I was like, where do I put a strap? Because this is six hundred and fifty dollars in your hands, and I'm sure I was always afraid of dropping it and even more terrified of dropping it in water and that happens I had a crappy phone and I I don't know what happened I just dropped it in the in the bathtub and it was gone so I attached this to the phone let me see if I can get it closer what I did is I opened the phone Let me see if it can focus closer. I opened it. I unscrewed uh, one of the screws, and I put this little. I think it's called uh, what? A little hook. This is a um, shrimp hook or something. So this is your standard uh, phone strap thing. So I unscrewed and put this under it and rescrewed it. It's pretty neat. Um, and actually, kind of drilled the little hole thingy there, but it was useless because the bulge comes from uh, the whole side. But it's invisible. You know, it looks like it was meant to have a strap. And I had this because. When, when I, I want to present something uh, yes you could put it inside because because um, you could put the this thing inside here because this has an angle you know it's not the same here here is thicker than here you could do it here but I don't feel comfortable doing that, you know, because I'm, I just don't want to take any chances. So, you know, it's going to just be like this in, as, a, as a tablet. It's not at all bad, but that's why I wanted uh, two in one. You know, I, I don't want to be presenting something and have this hand strap dangling over it. So that's why I... Um, I put it. I, I put the little thing first, and um, the hand strap after. I would. 
I'm, I don't really pull pull it from my um, from my shirt pocket, uh, my my jean pocket. That uh, with this, I don't, because you know it's still a screw. I don't I don't want to do anything to it. So this is more of a security. You know, it's not. I'm gonna I'm gonna use it like this. You know, it's more of a security thing, just in case you know um, something happens. Oh, it keeps it. You know. And as you can see, uh, it, uh, it, it pulls up the, um, the back cover because it was not really designed for it. I would not, when it's on the tablet mode, I don't even touch the, I don't even touch the, the hand strap because I know if I would, for some odd reason, drop the tablet. I know I'm gonna break the cover and I, I know it's gonna do some serious damage you know because it's it will want to pull out the phone out of this so I'm I, when it's in a tablet mode I really do not even touch the strap because I know this this will break it so the strap is mainly for phone mode and the phone is the most expensive part of the whole of the whole device and it's more just in case you know I'm near uh, something near some a lake or something I don't drop it it's not that I'm not careful my electronics but for some reason you know those things happen and iPhones do end up in a, in a toilet or a tub and um, well just protect your investment you know it, it doesn't make it uglier I think it really fits really well actually so here you go. I think I'm the first pad phone, the guy to, to make the first pad phone mod. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching.